Well, get ready for loads of zucchini because it's that time of year again, so it's time to make zucchini bread. But I'm actually gonna be making chocolate zucchini muffins, and I'm sharing my secret recipe with a special spice blend and a secret ingredient that tricks you into thinking that these are the real deal, even though there's no flour. The zucchini in this recipe helps to keep these muffins spongy and the opposite of dry. You mean moist? I was trying not to use that word. With a few selective ingredients to help with texture and flavor, you're gonna be reaching for more than just one muffin. So let's get to baking so we can get rid of all that zucchini that people just keep dropping off to me. Let's start by grating our zucchini. You need one and a half cups of grated zucchini, which is around one medium zucchini. And I like to keep the skin on because it adds a little bit of green, plus zucchini skin is loaded with fiber, which helps with digestion, has carotenoids in it like lutein, zeaxanthin, beta carotene, all help with free radical disposal, and has lots of minerals. We'll set that aside and now let's work on our batter. In a large bowl, you're gonna add two and a half cups of almond flour, a half a cup of sugar-free sweetener, one third cup of protein powder, and I'll have my favorite brand listed down below for you. This is zero carb protein powder. Next, you'll add one third cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, but instead I like to use Cacao Bliss by Earth Echo. And this is that special flavor blend of spices I was talking about. Cacao Bliss isn't your average raw cacao powder. It has a blend of superfoods in it, like cinnamon that helps to regulate your sugars and for gut support, has turmeric for inflammation, black pepper to help increase the absorption of that turmeric, turmeric, Himalayan salt to help balance pH levels. It also has coconut nectar, which is a prebiotic for gut health. It actually has a lot more too. Not only does it give a unique flavor to these zucchini muffins, but you're getting all of that extra nutrition from the superfoods. If you wanna try Cacao Bliss, just go to earthechofoods.com slash ketofocus and you can get 15% off of your order. And I'll have the link down below for you. Two teaspoons of baking powder with a half a teaspoon of salt. Then I just whisk this together just to make sure all the dry ingredients are incorporated and then we'll add in three eggs. A quarter cup of sour cream. Three tablespoons of melted butter. Then we'll mix this together, and then we'll add in a half a cup of your favorite sugar-free chocolate chips, just for that extra chocolate flavor, because you can never go wrong with too much chocolate. Once you've lined your muffin tins, pour your batter three quarters of the way to the top. And I like to use a cookie scoop for this because it's less mess than trying to use a spoon. Then we're gonna bake this at 350 degrees for 16 to 18 minutes. And look at these, they are the perfect muffin. And if you're wondering if these can be turned into a bread, the answer is I don't know because I haven't tried it, but I feel like it would work. You're just gonna have to cook it longer. And I know what else you're thinking. Pumpkin season is right around the corner and you want some pumpkin bread? Well, just click right here to watch my keto pumpkin bread recipe.